Hi guys. In this episode, I'd like to cover the Wrap 3 Pull 2. Um, basically, the Wrap 3 Pull 2 is going to be the best way that we have for attaching webbing um, around a cylindrical object when we want to create an anchor out of that object. Okay? Um, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to take our piece of webbing, um, make sure it's long enough to actually wrap around our cylindrical object uh, three times. This could be a tree, this could be a pole, uh, this could be all kinds of different things. In this case, it's a bucket. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and wrap around that. Okay, one, two, okay, three times. When you're wrapping around there, try to avoid any twists uh, in your wraps, okay? And we're going to finish this off when we're done by tying a water knot on these two ends, okay? So we'll go ahead and start off with our original water knot, um, simple overhand, okay, like so. We'll take this end and we'll go ahead and do that as a retrace here. Once again, trying to avoid any twists or kinks um, in the system. If you end up with one or two twists in there, not going to be a big deal. Doesn't mean you have to untie it. Um, okay, wrap this around here. Okay, um, like usual with our water knots, we're going to make sure those come out nice and flat, um, and then we leave a two to four inches or so of tail there. Okay, once that's accomplished, since it's called the wrap three pull two, what you want to do is actually pull um, the other two pieces of webbing that were around your cylinder, okay, or around your tree or whatever that happens to be, okay, and you want to pull it to where your knot ends up right up against the tree, and these other two wraps end up uh, pulled out away from there. Okay, um, at that point then you can go ahead and hook a carabiner in right here where my fingers are um, and that could function as your anchor point um, from there. The way this works is it creates a kind of a tension as it wraps around here a few different times and it actually eliminates the knot uh, for the most part from uh, being pulled upon. Um, you'll find that this knot doesn't tend to tighten or cinch down a whole lot uh, and shouldn't be too hard to untie later. Um, and it kind of helps keep the full strength of the webbing um, around here. In this case, this uh, uh, one inch tubular webbing uh, has a breaking strength of right around 4,000 pounds. You'll be able to keep most of that strength by utilizing the wrap three pull two. Okay?